Yo, what's going up? What's going on, guys? So in this video, we're gonna be talking about everything you need to know for this next Splatfest that's coming out. This video is gonna be a little bit weird because I do not know how to edit videos and stuff, but I'm going to try and um, pause the video so I can take you to everything you guys need to know by step by step, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so let's get on to it. So the sneak peek for Splatfest started yesterday for the um, team sour sweet team sour sweet and spicy spot bus if you're trying to sign up for a team you have to go here and then you choose the team that you want and then there's Splatfest info that's here you can read this so basically how Splatfest works is that you're playing turf war for about 48 hours and you're trying to get the most clout for your team so that your team wins the final results at the end so I believe that the final results are in here yeah so they base it off which teams has the most popularity, have the most popularity, how many contests you get during the sneak peek, and how much clout is earned during the main event. And for the main event, they split it between open, pro, and now they're splitting it between tricolor. So that's how it's now calculated if you want to know how Splatfist work. So tricolor is now a completely different on um, what we call it calculation mode. But they did also change how tricolor works. It's much different than how it used to be. So we'll go over that right now. I'm just going to go enter the lobby so it's going to be easier for me to show off stuff later. So guys, this is um, on the official Splatoon NA North America Twitter page. So this is how they change tricolor. Well, kind of how they change tricolor. We do know the official tricolor map, turf format, is going to be Undertale Spillway down here. As you guys can see, it is going to be Undertow Spillway, so it's no longer going to be Sturgeon Shipyard. We haven't seen what Undertow Spillway is going to play like yet for Tricolor, but it might be very interesting. I don't know, but it is a new map, just in case you guys are wondering. But also on the Splatoon 3 update page, if I can actually find it, I think I have to scroll all the way down here somewhere. Yeah, change the Splatfus. Okay, the main thing about Tricolor now is that Tricolors have been modified, so any player on any team can be attacking or defending those are the main things that are happening in game right now so it's going to be different in this Splatfest compared to other ones is that before if you were on a winning team in Splatfest you would be the defending team so when you played open or pro Splatfest it would just throw you into a tricolor match randomly but if you were on the losing teams you could just join you can join a specific tricolor mode but now it's going to be played differently so it doesn't matter what team you're on you can be on the attacking or defending team players as it says you have a 50 50 chance of being on an attacking team or a defending team regardless of their affiliation however it does say depending on population ratios aka how many people picked each team there may be tricolor battles where all eight players are on the same Splatfest team and then clout won't count. So I so be, basically, since in this current spot, the sweet seems to be winning a lot of popular vote because they're winning that. There might be a lot more mirrors, so it's going to be hard to get clout. So they might still win, but their clout numbers will be lower than they than they should be. Clout earning a tricolor bounce is going to be calculated in its own little thing. So now in a previous spot, us, it was tricolor. Is in is um was mixed with Splatfest Battle Open. This was mixed with Open, not Pro. So now the calculations are going to be different. You're going to have popularity, Conch shells, Open, Pro, and then Tricolor. And before it was 45 points in total. So they're going to have to change the calculations. We don't know yet, but that's how they're going to be changing it. So they're going to be, and the points will be awarded for each category, will be adjusted. They just mentioned it here. And now, okay, so clout is going to be in calculate for tricolor bounce to change. So they increase the victory bonus for the defending team. So the defending team, if they win, if they do very well, they're going to get more clout than they did before. Which I think is a great, um, whatchamacallit, a great change. Because the defending team didn't get as much clout compared to, um, the attacking teams before so this can help the defending team keep get higher amounts of clout and stay the winning team 
or whatever team that they're fighting for, they get more for it. When the team in first place at halftime is defending and attacking teams are from the second or third place teams, 1.5 times more clout will be a reward for the victory. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. So if your team is leading and you are defending, because it doesn't matter who's defending now, if you are defending and you're top, and you're the top team, you're going to get more clout for winning if the people attacking you are the, are the lesser teams. Um, and they also made a change where you win 10x, 100x, or 3, 30x, it will show up at your at your pled to box. The winning at 100x or 3, 30x battle, you can board your team's float from plus box to take their memory for pictures. So I think the um the float is the um where the idols are. So if you guys don't know, it's like I think I could find it in like a previous spot or something. I don't have my photos still. But like what's happened is that you have the idols that are on top of um these floats that move around in Splatsville. So I guess when you're winning a hundred when you win a ten X, hundred X or three 130x battle you'll be on top of the floats and you can take commemorative photos if you guys want to which i think is a really good change all right let's move on to our next topic and that's going to be concho so let me switch over to that really quickly i'm sorry guys i'm making mistakes there we go I was hoping it would pause, but it doesn't want to do that. If I press A, it doesn't pause. Okay. So, I kind of messed up there. We're fine. Alright. So, we're back here. So, with chain... So, now, con shells are now a thing. So, during Slotfest, you get con shells, which you can spend on, you know, the gotcha machine, which you can use to get special items from it now the seed for the gotcha machine if you're using conchos is different from your normal seed there is a website which is Lin yoshi's website if i can actually find it i can actually find it for you guys real quickly i'm not the best at this guys so please give me a I think you guys can see my screen. No, you guys can't. All right, let me switch over to it. There we go. But this is his website, his or her website. I I don't know what their um pronouns are, but this is the website. I think you go to collectibles database. If I'm no, not this database. It's the miss database. Yeah, the Gotham machine. So this is the Gotham machine. The limited rewards, this is what you get. I think there's a seed checker somewhere around here. If I have it correctly, spot first. Oh, not that. I'm trying to search around the website because I don't know what I'm doing necessarily. Spot first. No. Because there's a seed thing on here where you can um look at what you're going to get. But unfortunately, I don't know what I'm doing. So. And a little bit of hot water here, but. There's a sea checker somewhere on his website. I can find it. Let me just keep going back. There's a sea checker on his website, which you can use to find, um. To find your um seed for your whatchamacallit for your I think it's right here. Your seed stuff like this. There's a gotcha machine checker somewhere in here. I can't find it, but you put in your stuff, you put in the items that you get, and then you come and then you put in the items that you get and then it should give you a seed on what items you're gonna get next. So that's a really good way to check what um what you call it what abilities you're probably going to get. This is a good way to check for abilities. T listing, your database technical details. 
but this is a good way to check um, what you're going to get. I can't find it now because I don't know how to use this website that well. But if you guys can find the um, know what's going called the link to the to the get to the C checker for the for the gotcha machine. All you have to do is put in your late your recent polls. I think about five or six that you get from here, and you should be able to find your seed. And your seed should be able to tell you what um what you're most likely to get and how you're going to get them. And what time they're gonna get them. That's the main thing about it. I can't find it right now, but if you guys search through this website long enough, you should be able to find it. Hopefully. Because it should be on here. Um, and I think, if I'm being honest, that's it. Let me just switch back over to the game real quickly. But yeah, that was pretty much all you guys need to know for Splatfest. So, when Splatfest starts on um, January 6th of 2023, or January 7th, depending on where you live, it will go for 48 hours, and you guys can grind it out for whatever team you guys chose, and hopefully... You guys should be able to get the things that you want. Oh, and also one more thing. Your Splatfest tee. This is the most, it's one of the things I missed. Your Splatfest tee, you cannot change it during the Splatfest. However, you can scrub it at for at this guy. For two, for two at merch over here. For 2k cash. So if you guys get a lot of chunks on your gear, and you're trying to chunk grind, this is the best time to do it. And you also get that 1.2 catalog bonus. So if you're trying to finish your catalog, which is over here, I already finished mine. If you're trying to finish it here, you get a 1.2 bonus to it. So this is what you have to look forward to. So if you so you're really trying to get your your gear abilities up, this would be a perfect time to do it. Just grind it out. It is sneak peek now, so you can scrub your gear to get. But once the um, spot fest starts, you cannot switch out your spot fest here until it ends. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed all the information I posted up in this video. It wasn't too hard to make. It's kind of a little bit of technical difficulties, but I think I did pretty well, covering pretty much everything that you guys need to know. So I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.